I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That would make my work easier. What say you then? I will go now. Do you know where I might find Hjor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant. pleasure with the silver I received from the Order. I shared it too, with many in need. Don't be blinded by the gleam of your bloodlust. Shared silver always comes at a cost. What of it? I forged good from what you call evil. Lives were improved. Lives worth more than the silver that paid for them. I do not regret the lives lost for the charity gained. in these waters. Sail! Cut to the wind! Hold here! Pure and Lufina settled near this harbor. Someone should know where to find them. Looking for some friends. Do the names Hjor and Lufina mean anything to you? Mm, I think I know that name. A woman. She's from Biami Land. Very smart. She sounded funny, so I asked her once. Hope it wasn't rude of me. You want to speak to the dot master, Grigory? I've seen him talking with her before. My thanks. I'm looking for some friends. Been told to ask around this harbor. Lufina and Hjor. Oh, oh, oh. Sure, I know plenty. Of that, I'm certain.
Go, Sulin. My friend, could you help me find some of my people? I'm looking for Hjor and Lufina. Hjor? I know him. Are you a friend? I am. Then you will get no help from me, or any of the other merchants for that matter. Now, if you don't mind. Hmm. Bitter. Has Hjor wronged him somehow? What about me? What about my wares? You can have your wares back. Move along now. We ran a clean dock in Jorvik. You must be the dock master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, take it up with the council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Lufina. You know Hjor and Lufina? What business do you have with them? We know each other from Norway. Bid farewell to that land, but not to old friends. You may be glad to hear they fare quite well in Jorvik. It does not surprise me. They're driven. And so am I. Now I would like to see them again. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Hjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. A manor? Hjor and Lufina have done well for themselves. Blood, but no body. 
Which way did they go? Is this one of the thieves? Hmm. The trail continues. It's... it's me, Lufina. It's Eivor. Eivor? What? Who sent you? Are you with them? Breathe, Lufina. You're rattled. You know me. I am a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. I heard there was trouble in Jorvik. I have only come to help. On my honor. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. Where's your? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. We may not be safe just yet. This way. They are still looking for me. Hide low. We can slip past them. Keep moving. This way. Let's go. What? You choose death. I think it is safe now. Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again, though I imagined a karma reunion. We fled one problem only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richier is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. <gasps> Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They could belong to anyone. The sludge in the streets often drips from the gutters of the halls. When in doubt, look to those in power. You mean the council? Hjord is on the council. It pleases me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It's good to find you well, Jor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I've come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Jor. What? These people sent the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret. But they failed. Uh, this is the letter that was sent to our home. The needle, the firebrand, the vault. 
They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names. Our leads. Listen to him, Yor. He has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into Jorvik. But King Rishia's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I will need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. The Picts are winning this war. We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men. Understood, dear Farafin. But we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on. Enough. The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Cure. I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. King Rizia, I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Well, Eivor of the Raven Clan, as you can see, I'm in the middle of something. Hyor, perhaps for lack of better judgment, deems it necessary that you interrupt. Why? You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Lufina was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again. She survived. But the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? He's some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl Strenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am Farhavid, war chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well-fed Westral is Aldun, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want. Not what Hafton wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I will rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor. Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Pure. Send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. He tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's horn? Come. I will take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishay will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. The circle of trust must stay between the three of us. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. Uh, my love... I am sorry for what happened. I should have been there. Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits die with the struggle. Yours has changed. Softened. Politics. It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. And you as well. You have made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts. The Gospels. Ecclesiastes. The Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run the city now. But the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more... 
Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The Archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Alzon keeps a close eye on the place. I will try my luck there. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The Duckmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using Jorvik's money shortage to increase taxes. As if he's been ordered to by the Council. Jor would never wrong the people like that. Even if Rishie demanded it. The Dark Master is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I will have another look around the harbor. Try the trade depot. It's where he's holding the merchant's wares. I'll get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I will return when I find something. Come to ask about these Christian texts. Lufina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Mm, and destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The Abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the sound. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? An abyss does not strike me as a suitable choice against a gang of ruthless bandits. It is my duty to protect the role of Christianity in our lives. Texts like this Gospel of Matthew were created for more than just perusing. They are a gift. They spread the word of God, and it is that which must be preserved, whatsoever the cost. I admire your resolve, but unless the Red Hand is dismantled, they will continue to harm those in possession of these texts. The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else. That much is clear. The Abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the Rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion. And the bishop. He has been sneaking around the rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The rectory is on the road to the minster. I should look for the bishop there. 
I have the Yuletide feast to prepare for as well. Uh, do drop by for the festivities, A4. Have a drink or two. Wreaths, timber, food, wine. An expensive list of items to procure for a feast. Weapons and supplies, but not enough to arm and feed even the smallest army. said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. Seems quiet. Where is everyone? you doused in sweat and trembling so? The, the red hand. They're everywhere. Please, I don't want any trouble. Looks as though everyone else has fled this place. So why are you still here? Waiting for the bishop. One of our brothers said he would return soon. That's all I know, I swear it. Where's this other priest? He's locked himself in. That house, just there. Someone is hiding in there. Doubt he'll come out. I'll have to find a way in. In nominis sui gloria. No, stay away from me. Musky. Been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. I hear you priests have been hiding ever since some Christian texts went missing. What are you hiding from? The Red Hand? Who else? They muscle their way to and fro. No one has done a thing about it. I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. Said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. W what do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. I knew I should have left with the others. The bishop's quarters. What is that burning smell? <laughs> That's blast. Blood. There was a struggle here. Lord above! The, the bishop! No, I can't look! Oh, dear lord! A charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Ugh, the stench. He looks like searcher's shit.
Someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letters burned, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around. Search every room. They're around here somewhere. It's them. It's the Red Hand. Oh, Lord of mercy! Quiet. The Red Hand. I need to leave. We will burn that sinner just like the others. Several Christian texts. The abbess was right to cast suspicion in the bishop's way. The target sent the red hand after me. I must be closing in. It's time I head to the Minster. The Abbess knows more than she's letting on. The Firebrand's plan is coming to fruition. At long last. We have waited in the shadows for too long. Keep your eyes sharp and watch out for uninvited guests. She does not like interruptions. Come down! Oh, soon enough! <laughs>
place for you, priest. Go. Now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once! Something troubling you, father? Abbas, look. They are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because they ordered them to. What? The vellum that burned before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... You're mad! You won't get away with this! I won't let you! No one to tell. No one who will hear you cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed! Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything! It is time to end this. Yes. By a brand. The Abyss is the firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time will be between her and her next victim. notice of me, saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. 
And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand. Not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on. For one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. Wait. I should return to Lufina. She'll want to know about Abby Zingiborg's involvement. Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's Apis, Inkibok. Gods, I would never have suspected. Does the orders reach no no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The Apis sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city, rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless Sikhs have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone beaten and bloodied. The howling mother take them. Novena, a moment of your time. And Hyor if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up. by the Red Hand. The Order has a stake in these darks. It seems like the complaints by the merchants never reached the Council. Someone else will take care of it. You are playing hey, with fire. Stop. The you. needle is known to sting for far less than this.
seized exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. So, the Dark Master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Market. I'll flash some silver to the merchants. That should get their attention. Hear me, friend. I have a haul of silver that will sink my ship. Can you help me spend it? Keep it down, would you? You'll get yourself killed flaunting like that, especially around here. What good is a market if I cannot sniff around its stalls so you get to spend my gains? You want to let go of your silver? Try the narrow alleys. Now be gone! <laughs> Keep your focus. There was trouble at the depot earlier. What do you mean, trouble? I don't know for sure, but the needle is calling for more keys. Where to? We'll go see him together. Those guards will return after dark. I might be able to follow them to the needle. Hi, friend. I have a hoard of silver I'm making to spend. Can you help me? What have you got? I have nothing left to trade, but Coppergate Market is the right place. Ask around. You'll find someone who'll bend an ear. My thanks. Have you any wine for sale? There's nary a drop in town. Sorry. All the wine's been bought. Sorry I was late. The lady. You know how it is. Just hurry, will you? We have rounds to make. If I follow them, they should lead me to the needle.
This place is heavily guarded. among the rats, Nito. Fitting. ceased as well. They are melting the silver into bars and coins. What do they plan on doing with it? Out! Out! 
I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dark in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you've seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand, who can thread the needle. Someone like me. You are a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. Think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done! Taking the air, the sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Grigory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Oh, shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. They will attack on sight here. Do the thinking. You do as you're told. Gave me hearty meals, 
A warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand, showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the bolt, knowing full well what it was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt. And I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. you bring the needle will never sting again well done neighbor who was hiding behind the name my love there has been an attack at the markets the dog master grigory is dead the needle sold off the wares he seized to collect silver for the vault he had no such authority why would anyone believe him the council seal that rat this is getting out of hand how he was able to obtain this is Concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide feast, but I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. A valuable seal. And a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rhysia, Falavith, Odin, and... Your... The four members of the council. We should search their offices now, while they're occupied with the Yuletide feast. Yes. Yes. Come, to the archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. Hurry it along. The one I found in the sewers. The seal you took from the needle's hand. Now, you don't think someone could have stolen it. Let's keep searching. A list. What Jorvik needs for the Yuletide feast. That is Aldon's handwriting. Items have been struck out. Why did he find the funds to make this larger purchase? Aldon is a well-connected man. I have seen these. Weapons and supplies. Enough for a small group of fighters. Hardly enough for Halfdan's army. Could be why Fadavith is pressing the council for more silver. This desk. It looks as though it's been moved here. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with silver.
Scratch marks on the floor. Your desk used to be against the other wall. So why the change? A hidden entrance. Where does this lead? Guard the door. Wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. A load of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? It looks that way. It is not him, not Mayor. He would never do this. He. Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Hyor. Right now we need to get to the Yuletide Feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman Amphitheater. Let us go. you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I will speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even Hjor? Even Hjor. If he is the vault, I will not allow him to kill all these people. Lufina. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. Now to speak to the council members. We'll speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. That may lead me to the vault. Faravid, a word if I may. Ah, Drenger. If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. I may be courted, but I'm selective with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ah. If that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. <laughs> what a delightful feast! Alden has outdone himself. Alden, it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it. I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin. And these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I will fetch us some wine. Uh, no, no, no. I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of your feet. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. Alden has outdone himself. He has indeed. The High Reeve of Jorvik has arrived. Pure. Who was that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. He's someone on the council. You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it is important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it.
I will have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you. Of course. Richie. Ah, come to join the feast, have you? I have some bad news. The wine for the feast has spoiled. Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. Enjoy the feast. I shall try. Yes, indeed. The high reeve of your There's a bright future ahead if it keeps this up. Of course. Uncovered who the vault is. Not yet. I will return shortly with my decision. Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them, some more than others. Who is it you suspect? Audun was the one pushing for the feast from the start. He planned it, which means he would have had access to the wine. And he was helping Abbas Ingibor collect Christian texts. She turned out to be the firebrand. Yes. Yes, you're right. And the wine? Of all the councilmen, he knew the wine had not yet arrived. When I offered some, he flat out refused, insisting it be saved for the guests. For these reasons, I think Audun is the vault. Brothers, sisters, dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords. Men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on today, we honor you. We honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so The wine. Aldun is the vote. Too late for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve. And to more. Shit! And now, deafened and blinded by your lust for indulgence, your foolish pride, I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle Aldun. Go! Protect the king! Aldun! No escape! No future for people like you! What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. 
I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants, and priests, and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many suns. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres, awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none. Are you all right? We're fine. Faravil and his cars escorted King Richie back to the Royal Hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there. Shit! You're conspiring right under our noses. I don't care. I want answers. Calm, Lord Rishia. Alden is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Alden aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jarvik. He had help from two others. Grigory, the Dark Master, and Ingeborg, the Abyss. And you, Evo? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrived? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple, they would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. 
We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure Haft and Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today, and so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of your Vic Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it? Hard-working merchants were robbed of their wares. Honor Yuletide by giving the silver back to the honest citizens of Jorvik. A wise suggestion. I agree. Fine. I will see to it that Hjord distributes the silver evenly. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this hoard. I could use a bloody walk. We have a saying in Bjarmia. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury. But I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harold all along. We still can be. No. Norway is behind me now. And the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Should you ever need us, we will come. One last thing. The silver on your desk, Hjor. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind. So I must know. What is it for? I suppose I can forgo the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina. A Yuletide gift. You sneak. I will take my leave before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world, or the next. If you drop by Jorvik again, please join us for an ale. I know of a place down the street. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. Randvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun. Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Eivor. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For silver with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. 
The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. All right. I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hulk has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet! Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You are not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, I Stop! Was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Secret, you all know that, that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. 30 times? Surely you jest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay Prax, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... 30 times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please. Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is I all. His word is law. Whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> Thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime... We press on. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik, the Lufjuna, and Hjorzeit. 
And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. to see the Alliance map. What awaits in Jorvikshire? Halfton Ragnarsson, Conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Afton Jarl. I've heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Jervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. to hide them about my next targets. I should talk to Hytham about my next target. Wolfka, so glad to see you. Jovic is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Ah, here is something for you. 
An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I've found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I'll speak with Randry, get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? I have to go. Then go in peace. I want to see the Alliance map. Hytham received a message from Winchester. From someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I will make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. Even the mighty fall. And God's servant, the Bishop Aylesworth, was mighty indeed. A Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It is you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. Why deny the pleadings of an unwashed pagan who aches to know God? Take me as I am, and I will do your Lord's bidding. How great is the burden of learning for one so unworthy. But I see that no amount of instruction in the Lord's words will save your soul. Come. Who am I to meet, priest? I cannot stand waiting in silence. Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. May Christ, whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama?
You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that whelp from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this Order? Only this and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The Gallows, the Quill, the Sikhs. Three men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelferth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your guard. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. You have faced warriors like me many times before, and many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive. Nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. It will speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust. Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor. Compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, great king, but the day will come. Is this what you want, you filthy swindler? A pop I'll wear your guts as a hat! Give me a bridge jewel, you damn scoundrel! We have already paid for it! Papers thrown in the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks. Other guards destroying evidence. Garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. 
They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. The guards here are vigilant. Survey the area, Sudan. Winchester warns a good bishop and a strong, virile man. May he find his peace with God. Prisoners might know something. Who have felling trees, chiseling rock from the earth, and for what? To build more prisons for men who steal apples.
I'm looking for the Reeve. Selwyn? That bastard said I stole an apple. He'll see me hang for it. Not Selwyn. Reeve Goodwin was arrested not long ago. Alfred's man? Arrested? Now that's as funny as a dose of the pox. Seems no one is free in Winchester. Help! I'm starving. My baby son close to death. Would you not steal to save your child? Have a look soon, in there. get on the other side. Walls and thicker guards, a place to keep a valuable man.
Chester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodman. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I will find your research. Now go before they find their wolf has fled his cage. Let's regroup beyond the walls! Goodman's research against the Order of Ancients.
I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite Reeve. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the six. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. One calls himself the Quill. Are words his weapons? There were rumors of letters nailed up around Winchester. It may be that one of these can tell us more. The Gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The Gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course! That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. You seem agitated. What gave it away? The fact that I had to debase myself pissing in this swindler's pond? Or the angry shouting? This man has something of yours? And here's another god sent to shit in my stew pot. Sod off unless you are going to magic Alfred's jewel out your arse. If the jewel belongs to Alfred, it might be worth a pretty penny. The jewel, you damn scoundrel! We have already paid for it! By God's hairy balls, you are a thief and a swindler! Give me the jewel, Alfred Commission! I'm not your enemy, yet. But that man outside certainly wants Alfred's jewel. Oh, Jesus wept upon the Holy Cross. Fuck off the both of you. Alfred will get the jewel when I get what I'm owed. Peace, or you'll feel my blade in your guts. <laughs> Sorry, my beef is not with you. I only ask for what coin is fair. It cost me double to make over what was agreed. I have a wife to feed. If the jewel belongs to Alfred, then on your life you'd be wise to deliver it for the agreed price. Marry on a donkey! You deserve the bloody thing. It's not worth my hide. Much as my wife would love to be a widow. I have your jewel. Well, I didn't ask for your help, but I am glad of it. Alfred commissioned this rare thing. How rare? Filigreed gold, centered with a rock crystal and enamel plaque, a miniature of our most beatific lord, Jesus Christ, and... And you're going to just keep it, aren't you? You may have it. But tell your king it will all be mine soon enough. His jewels, his treasures, his city, his throne. What? No! I... God's pearly tooth! Here's payment for you, and we will both forget this meeting.
Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylfer, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylfer was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is a baying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Between his swiggler moves. Quellathi! Quellathi, Erla! The way this! Let us have all the homeyard! Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. <laughs> Stranger. of justice. Who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table. 
where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Ryu. One dead branch on a fast dying tree. <laughs> I should meet with Goodwin, see what he has found on the quill. Selwyn is dead. His man has poisoned everyone against us, and for what? Some only care for their own power and decision. I'm sorry I could not save your husband. My son is not an orphan today. You did more than enough. There is no longer freedom in Winchester. None are safe from his blade. What do you see? as a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? Sweep your own hearth, Alfred, if you do not like my broom. Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Avon? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Someone disagrees with your reforms, Alfred, and he is calling the children to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets, feral and untutored. I can talk to some. See where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reef, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it will keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. 
Spry, little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfa's pyre. Very poetic. But he's going to be buried in the grounds of the minister. Get off me, you oaf! Stop struggling and give back that apple! Apple? I didn't scribble nothing! Get the hands off me! Cowbreath! Cowbreath? You little street rat! No! Get off! Someone help me! Stealing apples, eh? Fruit don't feed a grown boy. Do you have any chicken? I do not, but maybe you can tell me what you know of the quill. The quill? God blimey, you're brave. Find Elwyn and Wigbert. They see everything. Winchester a place. Roly poly mutton man, you can't catch me. Oh, God help me. I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotna. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? Oi! Wigbert! You great moon calf! Hand it over, Elwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? Turn around, walk away, and you keep your insides inside. All right, all right, no harm meant. Stay out of trouble, you grub might. Ha! <laughs> that showed them. Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill, so I'm asking you, his little worker bees. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? Those were the quill's meat mops, and you sent them scurrying off with their tails between their legs. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give him what you took. Maybe he can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. Go, 
I should watch out for a mousetrap. streets. I'm going to marry King Alfred, and he's going to whisk me away from all this toil. There's never enough food. I'm always starving. the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence, and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! Scamper away from me! Steal for your order. 
to educate them. Give me a child until he is seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart? <laughs> little Alvin so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you cannot. You have corrupted too many to save too few. forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. set to meet him at an alehouse nearby. Now, 
Eivor! Is this where Justice hides when she is tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the Quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, hail Dorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinspain, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. What does Arif do exactly, besides sniff around the king's coattails for the scent of praise? I enforce and interpret the laws here. Not man's, but God's law. The natural laws that move the world and hold it together. Well, if that keeps you busy. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. If the bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. Lord grant my brother Aelfa eternal bliss. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I know the burden you bear. Such a weight of sin you have taken on. And all for your brother's sake. I know he lives. No, he's... He said it was for the good of all. He... I am his loyal sister, and I tell you, he is dead. You hear me? Dead. Leave me alone. I cannot betray my brother. Guards, protect me. Only his faith. alone enough of this cat and mouse where's your brother the one they call the Sikhs he is a ghost now but he will make himself flesh once more of the Witten and Alfred will be king no more he means to kill Alfred regicide no the king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all risen and resplendent as the Lord you are a damned fool Sunan, guide me. The 
the Sikhs must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are spoken in our time? Aelferth is dead, and we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our own deeds, like cockles and... God save us! Why do you defend this tiny crowd? I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, build like. God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all, and I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the Old Minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. served God. He wrapped himself in a death cloak to murder your king. Shouldn't you rejoice at the death of a king? You are a heathen and a devil. We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness, but this damned order... Their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there.
Go, my eyes. If Aelfer's sister spoke true, I will find answers in the ruins. first secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it.
The other side must be barred. Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward. Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin. Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumples to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. Damn you! I did not want it.
I will return to her. Ah, go up! Damn you! I will return to Hytham and Ranvi. They will want to know what happened here.
And they have left me a challenge.
I need your eyes, my friend. This looks like an old cellar. Yeah, reeks of stale wine. Are those barrels still full?
Shit. A shaft. I can see something at the bottom, but it's out of my reach. filled the shaft bearing my prize with it. I should be able to reach it now. No drinking horn. It looks valuable. A good find, I think. to see Bassam returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. Here. This marks fewer members of the Order. It gives me joy to take this from you. As a token of my gratitude, I want you to have this. There is more to be done, Eivor. I have to go. Then go in peace. Traces of the Nephilim. By edict of the local king, I shall prayeth to him that this light may be known as holy. These luminous placards are the divining rods of him who speaks to me. With effort, I seek the union of all his holy creations. Ita, Juno, Minerva, names that enter my head. Are these the Nephilim he reveals to me? Are these stones their signposts? I pray for your guidance, Lord. Amen.
forces work here. Now, I... how curious.
These toy goats, child. I keep them safe elsewhere. My sister and I make them, and they are the finest in the land. I'm not sure about being 
and the finest. But I do love them, every one. <laughs> if you have one in the likeness of Tangrishnir, I will take it. Wow, thank you. I did it, sis. I sold one, I did it. Sis, sis, I did it. Someone bought a goat. What about my goat? Where are you going? Sister. We made the goats together, but the cold took her last winter. I promised her I would continue selling our goats. She said they can bring warmth into the hearts of others. Here, it's yours. I hope it will keep you warm on your travels. Goodbye, nice stranger. Miss you, sis. Especially during Yule. I hope wherever you are, there are plenty of woolly, fluffy goats to keep you warm. Rest, spirit. Your legacy lives on with your sister. Chu Valley, old kings of Wiki still dance with the stones of the Nephilim. I have taught them of the power that sings here. How dare you tamper with these sacred threads, a voice scolded me. You must leave me, he said. Divorced from the Illuminat, his voice waxes and wanes, but a soft song still finds me in my penance. I bend a knee and leave a grain of sand for the old winds. Survey the area, Sunan. Let's see you, old friend.
invisible. as I gathered believers. I appeared so pious my eyes bled for him, but I've never felt as much love for his god. Not like I do the old gods. The true gods. Our ancient creators. Your life was a lie, you mean. You threw your honor into the ocean. When I told the Archbishop my true belief, he was horrified. So I silenced him. That silence comes for you now. Interested. Fortune favors the bold. Are you brave enough for a game or two? Let's do this then. <laughs> I like you already.
Interesting. This will do.
this will do. Loki must have tampered with my bones. <laughs> Don't feel too bad. Want to try again? Another round. This will do. Interesting.
almost got you now. Sweet victory. Oh, you are pretty good. Shall we go again? I have had enough of this. I serve the young Athelred. He will rise one day. He is no Elfred, from what I hear. I lied to everyone, and they will never know. They will tell stories of me as a good man who served his lord. Your Huga walks with a new beast.
see defeat. When Scops mention me, they will sing of my conquests. Cowards do not get sagas. I am no coward. In a long-lost battle for Wessex, I was the victor. The Scop could speak of that time. Focus on my lost honor. No, I'll leave your reputation as it is. Here, in the blood-blackened mud. Easy now. 
Something is not right. Smells like a trap. Another strangely marked artifact. This is a different sight, one resplendent in a manner unto itself, where his light shines greatest. Today, I was warned of a harrowing depth. After the Nephilim, great battles were fought in resurrective kingdoms of Christ. Many were lost in the fight, many more in the cataclysm that followed. Today. My lord instructed me in plain words to travel over the ocean and seek the door behind which hides his fallen angel. I shall try in his name. Amen. something. Find a need. Sunin, guide me.
dry over here! The families who fell by the Order's command? Were they not worthy of love? You are a Dane. How can you speak of the value of a life? All are ranked as less than the axe to you. Not true. I see honor in many people, many places. You have proved here that your compassion has a hard and brutal limit. <laughs>
thank you for treating Hytham with respect and kindness, Eivor. He has found a family among your clan. He is more than welcome here, as are you. Pleasure to see The Order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he thought back. Alfred, the line between friend and enemy is a porous one. 